So hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is part three of the Colours Clearance series. So if you haven't seen the previous two parts, you can click the playlist here and that'll take you to the previous two videos where we look at yellow, green and brown and then the brown to blue. In this one, we're gonna look at blue, pink and black. So this is gonna finish off our Colours Clearance. So let's get into it. So the first place we might find ourselves is pretty much perfect on the blue like this. If we land in a good position like this, we're quite happy that we can play a nice little roll shot and get onto the pink. So the only tip here, for right-handers, we want a favour being on this side of the pink. For left-handers, we want a favour being on this side of the pink. That just means we can reach either side of the table. So for me, I'm a right-hander, so I can just play this to roll forward. If I was left-handed, I could play a little screw shot and just come over here. So let's play this first shot. So just centre ball, not having to do anything with the white. Roll forward. Let the white go forward like that. Now this shot on the pink, absolutely perfect here. Don't need to use any cushions. This is a soft little stun shot over. So I want to try and hit the pink, pop the pink obviously, and bring the white over towards the black here. Now, too low on the white, and I'll bring the white more over this direction, leaving a further shot on the black. That makes that pop missable. If I don't go high enough, I might lose the white. So it's all about hitting the right point. So you can see where I'm going to hit there. So try and get that right point on the white. The delivery. And you can see, yeah, lovely little stun shot. Left myself nice and straight on the black. And now I can just pop this black. I don't have to do anything with the white here. So just confident little stun shot. And that completes that little clearance there. So very important there that you're trying to think about if you're left or right handed, which is the best side of the table for you. Okay, so shot number two that we're going to look at is when you leave yourself in this position on the blue. Now, this doesn't look too bad, but all of a sudden, just because I've got a little bit more angle here, it means that we can't just roll the blue in. So let's try that. Let's just try and roll the blue in. So let's try and get it to reach the pocket. So it's just about rolling in. But if we look at the white, we've lost the white to the black cushion there. So let's have a look at the way the professionals would play this shot to try and get back into perfect position. So the way you always see the professionals do this is they try and pop the blue, get the white to hit somewhere on this black cushion, in the middle of the cushion here in between the black and the pocket, and then they use a bit of side so that when the white comes here, the white straightens up and stays on the pink nicely. Now if you didn't use the side spin, the white would hit this point here, and then the white would come back over here and get lost to the side cushion. So that's why you play just that touch of side to help the shot. Now the other thing that's important here is this shot is actually a stun run through. So if I was to pop the blue and get a pure stun shot, the white would actually come straight down and hit the pink full in the face, that's a pure stun. Then if you don't get enough on it, it's coming close to this pocket like we saw earlier. So I've got to get that little bit of stun run through effect. So I'm going to play a couple of these shots now. I'm going to skip so that you can see quickly and I'll show you the problems that can go right and wrong with each of these shots. Right, so this first one, let's have a look at this. This is if I hit too low on the cue ball. So I've got just a bit below center, pot in the blue, and you can see there, that's the problem. If I get too much stun on the shot, the white is going straight down and hitting the pink full in the face. So you've got to be careful that you don't go too low on the white there. Right, so shot number two, this is if I now go too high on the white, so a bit above center, little bit of right, and you can see that time the white went, didn't stun enough, it went closer to going in off in that corner pocket. And that's because I didn't get enough bite on the shot. That's why I say this shot is difficult. It's a stun run through shot, so it's not a pure stun and it's not a plain ball shot. Let's try and get it if we can get the perfect amount of stun. Okay, so now we're gonna play this shot and we're gonna try and get it right this time. So we've got to look at the shot and we knew that that was too low that was too high on the white there. So we've got to go somewhere in between those two. Now, if you go too hard, so if you hit it too hard, I might still hit the pink. So there's a lot of feel involved. It's all about the power. And then you've got to try and get it the right power like that. Get it to hit the black cushion. And then you can see the way. Now my white has checked up perfectly. I've got a nice shot on the pink there. And I can play this now, so let's roll this through. So don't only hit the cushion here, nothing fancy to do with the white. Just roll the white through. And then again, this should hopefully just be one of our standard shots where you haven't got to hit it too hard. Just drop it through and that's your colours clearance nicely completed. Now, this next shot here is very, very common again. So 
This time I've placed the white higher up. So that was our previous mark. This time the white is higher up like this. Now this is very similar to the last shot, but this time I don't need to use stun. So the natural path of the white is coming off quite thin off the blue and sending me down towards this black cushion. Same idea again, I want a bit of right hand side to keep the white away from the cushion. But this time, so like I say, I'm gonna be hitting more there. So I don't need to have any stun on. If I can just hit here at the right pace, pop this blue, let the right hand side go on the shot like that. And then we'll find that exactly the same as the other one, the white has straightened up, leaving us a nice shot on the pink again so that we can just roll that through nicely. And then same idea again here, should just be a nice shot on the black to finish off your colours clearance. Okay, so let's look at this common shot we might find on the pink here. So we've got two options here. We can either play the plain ball shot or we can play to screw off the cushion. Now someone like Mark Williams would probably play the plain ball. He likes to just float balls in. Someone like Judd Trump might play to screw off the cushion. So let's have a look at the two options. So I've got almost plain ball, just one tip above center. Just pop this and just let the white bounce off the black cushion and then we're nicely on the black. Let's look at the alternative there where we could play the screw shot on and off the cushion. Okay, so this is the alternative here. Some players like to hit the ball more positively. Now you probably see that where I'm aiming is with a little bit of left hand side. And that's so that when the white hits this side cushion, it traps the white a little bit. And what I mean by that is, if the white comes over here like this, I don't want it to then bounce off at its natural angle and come to where my tip is down here. So if I play that bit of left hand side, it means it's gonna come off here and then straighten the white up and I'll leave a nicer shot on the black. So let's have a go at that. So down into the shot, bottom and left, get through it nicely. And then you see that little bit of side, stop the white from running away from me. And that's left a nice shot on the black so we can finish the clearance. Right, last but one little shot on the pink here. So we've got two more to go. So this one here, slightly too much angle to just roll the pink in perfectly for the black. So if I play this at just top spin, go off the cushion, pop the pink. Can you see the way the white has landed very, very high there? So I'd love to be able to stop the white from finishing that high and leave a better shot on the black. Okay, so I've set this shot up again, and now what players would do is use left hand side to bring the white closer to the black. So I'm coming twice across the table with side. I've got a more detailed video all about this shot in my series through the ball. So I'll link that above so you can have a look at that. So this time I'm playing left hand side, trying to pop the pink, send the white back across, black into the same pocket. So you see the way the left hand side has brought me closer. That's leaving a nice shot on the black now. And I can pop the black and that's my colours clearance finished again. Okay, last shot here, and this is an excellent one if you want to impress your friends. So I would put a little bit of practice into this. It looks a nice, fancy shot when it goes right. Now you can see the angle on the pink here, I've got much more angle this time. So it's very difficult if I was to try and play this with right hand side, the white wants to come over here and then I can't really get enough side on to get back on the black. So what the professionals do here is they play a stun run through with lots of left hand side. So you want to hit off this cushion here and then lots of left hand side will send the white wide so that it hits this bulk cushion first, then hits this side cushion and then comes back there and hits this cushion leaving a nice shot on the black. As I say, this is not easy, but let's see if we can get it right. So let's aim up there so you can see I've got lots of side on and then push through. And then you can see the white comes round off the side cushion there again, leaving a nice shot on the black and then you can finish your colors clearance. So as always, everybody, I really hope you found this video useful. I hope you've enjoyed this little series on clearing the colors. I wanted to look in a lot of detail at all these little horrible areas that we find ourselves landing in. It's easy to think, oh, if I'd have, you know, if I'd have landed really good, I'd have completed my colors clearance. But often we find that we don't land that perfectly. So I've tried to include all the shots here where if we can add these to our game, these little half recovery shots, you'll start to clear the colours with much more regularity. So as always, if you did enjoy it, please remember to give the video a like. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm making new videos all the time and by subscribing just really helps me to keep all this content coming. For anybody that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm working on this very table, helping players to improve their game all the time. 
So if you have a look in the description box, my details for my website, normal contact details are there. Please get in touch with me and I'd love to help you to improve your game. As always, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Stay tuned for next week's video and I'll catch you then. Cheers.